Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a review on this perfume. Um, I saw it on TikTok, everybody was raving about it. It's actually a perfume oil and it is called La hang on a minute. I can't see without like oh my god, I need new glasses. It's called Lamsa Herrera by Arabiat. I believe it's like Arabian perfume or something. I don't quote me on that. But anyways, it's it's a really nice um, perfume oil that everybody's talking about, and it was very inexpensive. Um, so I wanted to try it out. You know, I'm always on the hunt for nice new scents, and why not? It's supposed to last a lot longer too, the perfume oils, uh, compared to the perfume, but okay, first of all, the packaging alone is beautiful, and look at that bottle. Isn't that so rich looking? Oh, that is so nice. So now with perfume oils, um, you don't really need a lot, but I want to see if I like the smell first before I even put it on my skin. So like it comes with a little dropper thing and you would just put that on your skin. It almost reminds me of something. Okay, so the notes, actually let me let me look it up to see what the notes are and I can tell you, hold on a minute. Okay, so the top notes are grapes and black currants. The middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, and helotrope, I don't know what that is. And the base notes are cedar, patchouli, and musk. I do smell the cedar actually, but this reminds me of a perfume from like the 80s. I don't know what it is. I can kind of smell a little bit of the vanilla too, but obviously it's going to smell different on the skin. So let me just put a little dab, let that dry down, and you know, usually it's a, it's a different smell from the dry down. It smells different on the skin than it does in the bottle. The bottle itself, when I was first smelling it, it, it kind of had a little bit of a stronger smell, but on the hand, I'm smelling the vanilla. The vanilla and, oh my God, I don't know. I can't even explain this smell. It's it's nice. It's, um, I guess it's more of a sexy smell. You know, I don't think it's for me though. I like more of a florally kind of smell, um, lighter, you know, cause I get a headache with a lot of strong perfumes. This is definitely for somebody who likes to make an entrance, you know, or likes to actually have people smelling them, you know, like from 10 feet away, I guess. Yeah, it's quite strong. It's not bad though, as it's drying down, I'm smelling more of the vanilla, but it's like a spicy kind of vanilla. Yeah, you just have to smell it. And you know, of course, all of our body uh, chemistry is different. So it smells different on, on, you know, different skins. I'm very fair, maybe on a darker skin, it might smell different, I don't know, but yeah, it's not bad. It's a beautiful bottle, beautiful box. I don't think the perfume is for me though. I really don't. I think it's a little too strong. You know, sometimes like you smell a perfume and it's like it makes you think of somebody else, you know? And this just does not smell like me at all. But um, it's a nice smell. So I just wanted to try it out and uh, let you all know what I thought. And I don't know if you're going to get anything out of this video. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it. Oh, what does that smell like? It's It really does smell like a, an older perfume, but you know, like it kind of has like a little bit of a rich smell to it too, but it's just not for me. It's like, to me, it smells exotic. That's how I could describe it. Like somebody very exotic, you know, and in Chanel clothes or something wearing this perfume, not somebody like me just, you know, dressing down every day in my running shoes. So yeah, no, it's not for me, but it's nice. It's not bad. I don't smell the patchouli. I don't smell the jasmine at all. Um, I mostly smell like a vanilla and maybe that musk and the cedar a little bit. 
So thanks for joining me. That's all I'm reviewing today. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.